First drawn in the dirt of the Texas Panhandle, the famed XIT Ranch brand has a history as long as its original fence line. The legacy of the XIT began in 1882, when the state of Texas traded 3 million acres in exchange for the Farwell Brothers of Chicago to finance and construct the new state capitol building in Austin. To secure the enormous amount of financing that would be necessary to develop the capitol building, John V. Farwell traveled to England in late 1884 and succeeded in forming the Capital Freehold Land Investment Company of London. After attracting wealthy British investors, like the Earl of Aberdeen, and members of Parliament, Farwell returned with the necessary funds to begin building out his vision for the XIT. Handpicked by Farwell, B. H. Campbell became the XIT's first general manager. Under his direction, the ranch's first headquarters and pasture fence were completed. Campbell also began to seek out Longhorn cattle in Central and South Texas. On July 1, 1885, the first herd of 25 head arrived at the ranch. Within the next year, 781 miles of XIT range was fenced, and just under 111,000 cattle, valued at $1.3 million, had been purchased. As ranch operations became more organized, the northern and southern regions of the ranch were divided into eight divisions. Each division had a section headquarters, a foreman, its quota of employees and horses, and specific characteristics. When the Fort Worth and Denver City Railway built through the Panhandle in 1887, the new town of Channing, home of the Rita Blanca Division, emerged as a major shipping point. As a result, it became the center of ranch activities, and the XIT General Office was established there in a Victorian building that still stands today. By the turn of the century, 325 windmills and 100 dams had been erected on the XIT. At its peak, the XIT ranch boasted over 150,000 head of cattle, 6,000 miles of fencing, and was considered the largest cattle ranch in the world. Following crashing cattle prices in 1886, 1887, and 1888, the ranch was unable to make a profit selling cattle. Further losses were caused by cattle rustlers and natural predators, and by the late 1890s, the gradual process of selling off XIT land began to repay British bondholders. George Littlefield was the first large purchaser, buying 235,858 acres. William E. Halsell started his Mashto Ranch out of the old Spring Lake Division, and John M. Shelton developed the Ojo Bravo Division as the Bravo and JJ Ranches. The largest sale of 800,000 acres was to the Scottish-run Matador Ranch. The last of the XIT cattle were sold on November 1, 1912, after John V's widow, Emmerich Farwell, passed away. Once the cattle were sold, the remaining acreage were leased to farmers and ranches by the Farwell family's Capital Freehold Land Trust over the next five decades, with the first parcel of the original XIT selling in 1963. Fast forward 57 years and enter Drew Knowles, the great-great-great-grandson of none other than John V. Farwell. In 2020, Knowles and his wife Abby purchased an equine property in southern Colorado and began to build their dream operation. A Le Cordon Bleu trained chef, Abby saw the ranch as an opportunity to champion regenerative practices and ranch-to-table dining, while Drew focused on the quarter horse and cattle operations. By all accounts, the Knowles had quietly started reviving the family brand. That all changed on the first weekend in October of 2021 in Guthrie, Texas. As the largest crowd in the history of the return to the Ramuda sale at the famed Four Sixes Ranch gathered on sale day, few knew there was a sleeping giant in the crowd. As the gavel fell for a filly early in the sale, you could hear a pin drop when the auctioneer boomed. Sold to XIT! Drew had arrived at the sale with an extremely specific plan, the intention to make a statement, and to show everyone how serious he was about reviving the XIT brand. When all was said and done, Knowles headed back to Colorado with four horses from King Ranch, one from Beggs Ranch, and three from the Four Sixes. He also left everyone wondering, what was next? What came next, some might say, only happens in the movies. A ranch listing in the Texas Panhandle made its way to Drew from Taylor Sheridan. 
As fate would have it, the available 11,520 acres sat inside the original XIT's Rita Blanca division, just west of Channing, Texas. After much due diligence, several visits, and 60 years, the legendary XIT ranch has returned to Texas, with XIT branded cattle grazing on original XIT rangelands that is back in Farwell family hands. In August of this year, the XIT sent shockwaves through the performance horse industry when it announced that they had acquired famed NCHA stallion Kit Kat Sugar. Sired by Highbrow Cat and out of Sugar and Dulce, Skeet earned over $240,000 over his cutting career, which saw seven major events won during his four-year-old year and also included an NCHA Super Stakes Reserve champion title. Bred by Lonnie and Barbara Olsup, the stallion was also named the 2012 NCHA Open Horse of the Year. Of the acquisition, Knowles says, When we started building our remuda, we started with a handful of the best mares in the country, from the return to the remuda sale. The addition of Kit Kat Sugar shows our commitment to our breeding program and our dedication to building one of the best horse programs in the world. The stallion, whose offspring has earnings of over $7.6 million, will now stand at the four sixes. In addition to its horse program, the XIT is raising some of the highest quality Angus and American Wagyu in the nation. Their commitment to a stringent genetic program yields consistent quality and high body scores. XIT cattle are both hormone and antibiotic free. Today, the ranch keeps with age-old traditions of roping calves and dragging them to the fire for branding. Tradition and commitment to land stewardship are hallmarks of the XIT and what Knowles hopes to pass on to the next generation.